Hello, I'm Michael Houston, president of HCG Real Estate School. And I'm Tara Houston, the founder and CEO of HCG Real Estate School. Yes, and HCG Real Estate School provides excellence in real estate education to aspiring and current real estate professionals. So our school offers real estate uh, courses in terms of pre-licensing, uh, continuing education, and professional development courses. And we're so excited to have you joining us today. And with us, we have two real estate agent rock stars. We're just so excited to speak with them this morning. And we have Stacy Francois of EXP Realty. <laughs> All right, Stacy, thank you for joining yes. us today. Yes. And we also have Kamel Musa of EXP Realty. All right, everyone. All right. Good All to right. see you, Kamel. It's, Stacey. It's good to oh, see wow. you. And thank you for joining us too, Kamel. Thank you. So we're excited because we wanted to have you speak to us today on our business empowerment series because you've done just that. You both have become business owners, entrepreneurs through the realm of real estate. And you are, we definitely have experience yes, with you. Yes, absolutely. And you, we definitely see the empowerment that real estate has brought to both of your lives. And so we wanted to just talk about that today. Um, because we know that you both were rock star career um, individuals anyway, high powered individuals, but for some reason you were inspired to get your real estate license. And so that's what we want to start the conversation. What inspired you to get your real estate license? And I guess we can start with Kamel. Okay. Thanks, uh, thanks um, uh, Mike and Tara for having me. And good morning, uh, uh, Stacy. So for me, I've been putting off, I've been working in real estate for over two decades, but I never got to get my realtor license. And mm -hmm. I kept putting it off because I didn't want to do the studying or take the test. <laughs> until, right. yeah, I didn't want to put in the work until I, uh, Mike and Tara approached me one time and said, hey, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> Go get your license. <laughs> right. And uh, so I, I signed up with the class the following week and not knowing what to expect, but uh, it was a smooth process. And I had the confidence that I had enough uh, material to be able to pass the test. Yeah. So for me, it was just a thing of getting somebody to, to push me to, 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 to go get my license because I've always wanted to do that because of what I, I already do in my previous, in my other career. You know, right. I have a network already, yes. So I, guess, right. you need some, I guess you need a push pretty much. You know? Okay. Okay. And there's a book called Even Eagles Need a Push. Uh, Even Eagles Need a Push. That's right. And I think you are an eagle. I know you are. And so you, you um, had a push there and now you're seeing success. So we're going to talk about some of your successes. Um, and Stacy, what about you? What inspired you to want to start a career in real estate or business in real estate? Well, growing up, my family was always um, in real estate investors. So I've I've been in the real estate field for a while. Um, and then I had a government job. Um, I'm an accountant as well. So I've been doing that since I graduated from college. And I've always thought about becoming a real estate agent. And <clears throat> a friend of mine just kind of told me about mm -hmm. your class. And I just said, oh, well, let me, let me just go for it. And I did, and I'm so glad I made that change. So that's how I came to HCG. And um, I am so glad I, I did that. That's outstanding. That is outstanding. That is I, and yet outstanding. And, and both you all went on, like I said, like my wife said, and like we just mentioned, uh, go on to you know grad, get your license, graduate from our school. Uh, you all were definitely stellar students and uh, and had early success in your uh, careers. Uh, I know, you know, with your, um, uh, you know, with the XP Realty, I know you all, you know, graduated from the mentoring program pretty quickly, and that was a huge accomplishment as well. But let's, uh, you know, talk about in terms of, uh, you know, the school, you know, in terms of preparing you. Because I know there's tests to take, you know, and uh, you know, classroom tests, and you have to take, you know, different exams to even just get your license and a lot of studying. Um, talk a little bit about, you know, how the specifically the class with our ACG Real Estate School, how it, you know, prepared you to give you confidence, you know, to, uh, you know, get through the schooling and, 
and to take the test and go on to, you know, get your license. Yeah. Can I go first? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, so uh, for me, I will say, like I said, I didn't know what to expect when I right. got into the class because uh, I'm somebody with a very short attention span. So after 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour, I'm done. But uh, I like uh, the way the class was taught. It was very interactive. It was very conversational. And uh, the instructor gave, Tara gave us the opportunity to also speak from our experiences. Mm -hmm. So he right. kept us engaged in the classes. So that's how I was able to go to the classes because uh, I mean, it's a lot of material, of course, but if you have the right person teaching it, it doesn't feel like you're, you're dealing with a lot. So for me, the interactive nature, the, the, the conversational nature made it easy for me to be able to absorb the material. And also Tara also prepares you in a way that she gives you the areas while she's teaching, she's telling you the areas that you need to pay particular attention to when it comes to taking the test. Wow. So that actually, uh, so what I was doing was just circling those areas or making notes of those chapters that I need to focus right. on for my test whilst I'm trying to absorb all the material. Yeah. Right. right. And um, I know we're going to get to Stacy too, but um, just wanted to, for those who are watching, understand that in Virginia, you have to take 60 hours of pre-licensing education and then you have to prepare you have to take an exam in the class and then you have to prepare for a state right. exam right. which is called the psi in virginia and several other states um and so what Camille's referring to is when we're when we teach the material in our classes and we're going through the various topics we also have the PSI content outline there. And we're saying, okay, mm -hmm, this right. is worth, this section is worth 10% of the exam. These are the types of math problems you're gonna have. You're gonna have about five of these and so forth. So that's what Kamel is referring to. And so you're saying that was helpful for you to prepare. It was very, it was very helpful because it, it, it made me focus my attention on some specific areas more because I knew mm -hmm. there's a chance that we're gonna come in the test, you know, so. Very good, very good. That's and great. Stacey, what was your experience like? It was good. Um, Tara, you broke everything down. I mean, I'm I'm not the type, I don't like a reading straight from the book because it's hard for me to comprehend. But like being in the class with you and all the other students, you, you broke everything down to make it easier to understand. And <clears throat> it was much more clear than what was in the book. So that really helped me. And again, um, as Kamal, Kamal was saying that, it, you know, you told us exactly like you think that this is going to be on a test. And, you know, I put my stars around that and made sure I studied that even more. So that was very helpful. And I just like the way that you broke down everything and made it so much easier for me to understand everything. So that was very helpful. Okay, well, that's outstanding. And, and thank you all for the compliments, but thank you also for listening and applying yeah. the information. Because yeah. wouldn't you say that's what it takes to be successful? That's what it takes. Definitely. That's what it yeah. takes. Yeah. yeah, because we see the pre-licensing stage as the start of right. the mentoring phase mm -hmm. um, to build in a successful mm -hmm. real estate right. business. It is you know, a hoop that you have to jump through to get to the next level and true you do learn more on the job than, you know, reading about it, but it starts immediately at that pre-licensing phase. Right. And so when you are considering, this is for those who are watching, if you're considering a career in real estate, understand that as you go into your pre-licensing classes, right. that the mentoring is already starting, right. the coaching is already starting, the preparation is already starting to start a successful business. And I would like to add by saying that that is why it's important to have somebody who has experience teaching mm -hmm. the class because there were so many exa examples of where uh, we will have a case where Tara already has an experience in that area because of her years of practice. So she's able to apply and say, hey, okay, in this year, maybe 2018, this happened and this is how I handle it. So it's very important to have somebody who has years of experience teaching the class because they've, they can pr apply practical experiences to the to the theory. Yeah, that's a great point.
Well, yeah. that's fantastic. I know my wife is a wonderful storyteller. I'm sure she, you know, tells, uh, you know, mm-hmm. stories of, you know, some experiences and things like that. Did you find that that helped some of the kind of real life application? Uh, you know, maybe some of the stories, some examples that, uh, you know, you learn or maybe yes. heard from the instructor. Exactly. It made it easy. It made it easy. It made right. it easy because, because you, you don't forget conversations, right? Right. Because, because it's, not, you're not, it's not like you're learning. You're, it's, you've been told stories, but they're still not applied. Right. To, I remember she, she told a story about Fair House and that I still remember. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Because it was about her family, but the way she told it, mm-hmm. I can't forget. And I've told people, not by saying her name, but by telling people right. what the experience was. So, oh, you mean my family, my <laughs> father, yes. grandfather? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Right. right. My right. first story. experience with, yeah. with the yes. family story. Right, right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, let me ask you this, because I know there are people watching and, uh, you know, who are in different kind of phase of their life. Some people are dual career. Some people, you may be retired looking to, as real estate mm-hmm. as another career, uh, you know, busy with families and other activities. Uh, as far as the convenience of the class, because a lot of people are looking, you know, there's different options for taking real estate mm-hmm. classes. And uh, I know one of the big things that, you know, we get uh, are things dealing with convenience, like, you know, uh, you know, wanting maybe, you know, the in-person experience mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. something that they will fit around their schedule. But Talk a little bit about how um, the class that you took uh, in terms of the convenience, how convenient was it for you? you know, both of you all are busy professionals and have families and things like that. Kind of share your experience as far as, you know, how convenient the class was for you. Well, for me, I, um, I'm a dual career yeah. and the class, I had an in-person class, so which I loved. But um, so it wasn't far from my job. So it was very convenient. So after my job, I would go straight up to the class and, you know, stay there. And it was it was easier for me so I can be there in person to focus. So I really like that. Well, great. Good, great. Good. Uh, okay, Camille. Okay, in my case, my class was like a hybrid. We started with uh, with in class, but at a point we voted as a class to go to go uh go to zoom right okay. and, and i preferred that because i didn't have to get on 95 and drive 20 25 miles to get to the class so i'll say the convenience of being able to to go to a class in zoom but then it felt like you are in person because you are still interacting with everybody live you know mm-hmm. so uh, for me the convenience of of being able to not having to leave the house but be able to still get the experience of interacting with other people was was uh, very worth, much worth it for me Okay, well, that's, that's great to right. hear because, you know, we, we aim to make, you know, do our best in terms of making it convenient for those. We know people have busy, busy, yeah. busy lifestyles busy and a lot of people do want their live experience. So having that Zoom option with a live instructor, you know, we also offer the self-paced option too, where it's, you know, 24-7, you know, you can take the class at your own pace, mm-hmm. you know, right online. So, you know, having those different options, you know, we try to make it convenient for you know, the majority of people who are looking to, you know, get their license. Mm-hmm. And I would say, um, as we prepare to wrap up, this has been great yes. information that you've shared. And really, we see this as a, um, as um, a, some feedback. You know, this interview is a great feedback Absolutely. as we continue to aspire to provide excellence in real estate education. So we certainly appreciate that. But we want to end on the fun, high power <laughs> note. How are you all doing in business? I mean, the most important thing is you were able to take the class, yes. pass the exam, which you both did yes. um, not long after the class finished. I remember receiving text messages and <laughs> phone calls. You text, then you call. Right. I know, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're so excited. I know, so I remember, celebrate all of us. Yes. Yes, so, so I remember receiving those from you all. Um, so that was exciting. So how's business going? How is it being a real estate entrepreneur? As far as me, um, I am loving real estate. Good. I am loving it. And I, I'm still a dual career. And my goal is to become a full-time agent. Um, so that's my goal. But right now I'm loving it. And I just love working with people and helping them find their dream home. And, I, and it's just great. And you've I, done just uh, that. We've seen you. Multiple times. Many, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, yeah. you've only been in business a, a few um, years now. Um, 
you've had great success. great success. We've seen your production. Um, so congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. Right. Thank Thank you. you. And I love you your use of the term dual career. Yes. Um, we have we have a thing about that. We do, we do, because uh, you know, real estate is a career when people hire an agent. Mm -hmm. You know, buying or selling a home is one of the largest financial transactions that most people will make in their life. Mm -hmm. So they want a professional, you know, uh, and they, you know, care about having, they desire somebody who's caring, competent, and confident in uh, being able to uh, serve them. And so, you know, we say <coughs> new agents, if you're looking at getting your license, you know, uh, you know, call yourself a dual career because that's what it is. You have two, two careers if you're dual career. Okay, and uh, the both of you all, we've seen you approach your uh, real estate business as I mean, if I didn't know you all, I would think both of you all were full, you know, full time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But that's the mindset and approach that you have to your business. That's why you all are having so much success because you you approach it as a career. So absolutely. And Kamal, how how is the real estate entrepreneurship world teaching um, treating uh, you? <laughs> for me, it's been a, a fantastic experience. Why? Because uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for years, for mm -hmm. over 10 years, I've been trying to get my license. Why? Because I have a network of people who know I'm in, the, in real estate and they always approach me asking for help. Mm -hmm. you know, hey, I need, I need a house to rent. Uh, can you right. help sell my house? And I've always had to refer them because I'm not a licensed uh, uh, agent, of course. So before, this before you are like yeah, yes, I wasn't right, I wasn't exactly. licensed agent before. So right. I'll say getting my license has been a uh, it has been uh, allowed me to be able to help the people that that come to me for help, and also being in in the with EXP and all the groups, um, I've seen the success that other 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 members are having. And that has been like a fool to me, you know. Anytime I see somebody close a deal or post they close a deal, I get excited because I feel like it's fool, you know. It's it's, it's a healthy competition, you know. It mm -hmm. makes you want to go out there and also uh, right. do something great. Yeah. You know? So the, uh, it's it's been a great a great experience having my license because if I didn't, I would still keep referring my business to <laughs> my business to people because I know right. I'm right. Agent. so yeah. so um, I'm I'm glad and I'm looking forward to focusing in the coming years on the, on the commercial side of the business, you know, okay. to start doing some commercial. And that's the beauty of getting the, once you get your license, there's so much you can do with it. You know, Absolutely. you can you start to just be a selling agent, uh, just uh, just being a rental agent, you can, a property manager, you can do whatever you want to do with your license. And Absolutely. that is the beauty of it. You know, that's the beauty of getting the license because you have options, you know, mm -hmm. once you get it. That's what people don't realize. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. we, we all tell people when you get your license, you know, you become like the CEO of your own business yes. and uh, you have multiple streams of income, even just with having your license, you know, mm -hmm. so it's uh, that's that's great to hear. And yeah. it's just so exciting to yeah. see both of you. You came in and you immediately graduated and, you know, not not the next day, but you to me in record time yes, graduated from EXP Realty, for those who don't know, has a mentoring program. Um, and it's a uh, mentoring pro program second to none in that you are paired with a mentor who will assist you with your first three transactions, hold your hand, you're not alone, and they're going to assist you after right. as well. Absolutely. But you two graduated from the mentoring program in record time. Absolutely. And so we just want to congratulate you on that. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. You know, there's a saying, it's, uh, uh, it says, uh, teachers get you a grade, but mentors get you paid. Ah. And so that's why it's so important <laughs> as new agents, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you align yourself with, uh, you know, uh, an environment, a culture that's going to, you know, have experience agents to be able to work side by side with you okay right. to help you apply and learn and make sure you know you're in compliance there's a lot of things with the transactions so you want to have that experienced person be able to walk with you and uh with your transactions as you're getting up and running mm -hmm. in your business so just remember that so yeah so this has been an awesome talk today we certainly appreciate you stacy and Kamel, for coming on our business empowerment series to share tips tools and you know Really, you even gave advice, in my opinion. You didn't even realize it, but you were given advice when you were saying, listen to the yes. stories that are being told. And, you know, listen, you know, when the instructor's saying this part's in, off the content outline and this is what you need to know. Right. So all of that information. So any last impressions or, you know, or words you want to add before we close out? Uh, I would say I've come across a few, uh, a lot of people where, um, 
uh, I've tried to encourage them to get a license. And the first thing they say, oh, there's realtors all over the place. And I, I keep telling them, hey, what, whatever you're doing right now, do you think you're the best? And they say, yeah, I think I'm good at what I'm doing. I'm like, fine, that's how I'm real, being a, an agent is. If you go get your license and you go out there and you believe that you are great at what you are doing, you have the confidence you're going to crush it. Because, yeah. yes, there's a lot right. of agents, but there's also a lot of, a lot of business out there for everybody. The pie is right. big enough that mm. we can all get a piece. You know, I so, love that. I love that. Yeah. We operate in a world of abundance, right? Absolutely. And another thing about real estate, yeah, there are still a lot, there are a lot of realtors in there, but depend, the world is so big, yes. it's so vast. There's so many people that need services that you'll leave, if you operate your business the right way, as you all are seeing and you know, you'll never, you won't even feel any competition. And, and that's for a different right. conversation. I know that's right. But you, that's good, the though. competition becomes irrelevant, so to speak. What, like you said, Camille, you can crush it. So I appreciate that, those parting words. Um, Stacey, did you have anything else you wanted to add? I know I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> no, I would just like to add that, um, you know, anybody who's thinking about getting their real estate license to definitely consider HCG um, as far as getting the, going, taking the class and everything, because it will definitely help you pass the exam. Um, I already referred friends and family to this group. And I mean, and a friend of mine just passed her exam. So, so I definitely recommend you using this group to, um, to take the class because it will definitely help you in the future as well. Well, thank, you. Well, thank you very much. You so know. Kind. Thank you for the kind words. Absolutely. We appreciate that. And again, you know, we thank you for your support, you know, of our school, again, being stellar graduates. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're so excited yeah. about your success and the best is yet to come. And um, and again, you know, we're here at HCG Real Estate School. You know, again, our, our, our mission, we definitely are, are, are really committed to helping to raise up the next uh, generation of uh, real estate professionals that will be entering this industry, carrying it forward over the next 10, 20 plus years. And it mm -hmm. starts with getting the license. Yes. And so, and that's what we offer to aspiring agents. So again, if you're you know, looking to get your license, you can actually visit houstonconsultinggroup.com backslash book dash online. Again, houstonconsultinggroup.com backslash book dash online right online it has our you know information about our classes and also be with this video and you'll know, be with this video as well so you can surely uh, click the link mm -hmm. and um just explore and uh you know surely reach out if you have any questions again so okay all right well thank you very much we'll thank see you, you next time Absolutely. Yeah. thank you very much okay all right thank you very thank much thank you